In action movies, it's pretty common to see the driver shooting at enemies while the passenger grabs the wheel to keep the car on course. To find out if that could actually work in real life, Adam and Jamie decided to put it to the test by co-driving a car together. They headed to a closed test track and set up a one-mile driving course. To get a baseline for comparison, they each drove the course solo. Under normal conditions, it took about one minute to complete the lap. Then came the co-driving experiment. Jamie took control of the gas and brake pedals, while Adam handled the steering. Driving in a straight line was easy, and even the turns went smoothly. In the end, their time was nearly identical to the solo runs. Next, they switched roles. Adam worked the pedals, and Jamie took over the wheel. The straight sections were still manageable, but when it came to turning, Jamie had trouble steering with just one hand and nearly ran off the track. Still, they managed to finish the course in under a minute. The results suggested that driving with two people in sync wasn't nearly as chaotic as it might seem. To raise the stakes, they made the test more challenging by placing several targets along the track. This time, the driver not only had to manage the pedals, but also hit the targets using a paintball gun. Jamie hit about half of the targets and finished the run only 20% slower than the baseline time. Adam, on the other hand, did slightly better in both accuracy and overall time. So, overall, co-driving turned out to be more doable than anyone expected, at least under controlled conditions. But this was on a closed track with no pedestrians, no buildings, and no other vehicles. Out in the real world, even the smallest mistake could cause a serious accident. Bottom line, don't try this in real life.